What's going on guys? Uh, tonight we're going to do a little uh, PC. My personal collection. I've had a lot of people reach out to me. Uh, I know a lot of guys are doing that. I didn't know where to go with this. I have a very large PC <laughs> and it would just take hours and hours to go over everything. So I broke it down. Um, this is going to be strictly baseball and it's going to be uh, kind of what got me started. So hopefully not not too long but hopefully be really cool um you know i got started a long 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 time ago when i was a little kid and that's what this is going to be about so uh nothing major in this video but just really cool for people who uh still collect to collect anyways guys let's get into this uh and then some news coming later on <laughs> guys this right here is the card uh that started it for me day one um i've had this card here for 30 years probably uh, that's not a joke <laughs> uh 1961 yogi bear obviously it's in a uh, newer psa slab i probably had this for about uh i'd say i got the same grade maybe two or three years ago uh when i was a kid growing up late 80s early 90s uh you know it's kind of when baseball was in that time where everything was a billion prints and worthless until recently obviously um but i would save up my money and my dad would actually you know do one of those things where they kind of matched what you saved up and i wanted something we could collect together so i collected vintage um that's where this was one of our very first purchases together uh psa 4 right now i think you can pick this up on ebay for about 60 bucks uh you couldn't give me ten thousand dollars for this card right now couldn't do it uh this is my baby <laughs> but anyways this is really what got it started um all these cards i'm about to show you like i said i've got another stack in there y'all don't want to see but these are most meaningful to me joe collins um one of the, in my opinion, best Yankees and probably one of the most decorated uh, ball players not in the Hall of Fame. Um, I think he's got five or six World Series titles to his name. Obviously, he came up, uh, played a lot with, with Yogi Bear, played a lot with Mantle, all them guys from that time period. Bill White. Um, San Francisco, again, I know a lot of y'all young guys watching this have no clue who this dude is. Um, very, very big ball player in his name. Obviously, you know, we're looking at, uh, should be, yeah, this is gonna be a 59 tops. Um, you know, he's right here with Ernie Banks, uh, Hank Aaron, not necessarily in popularity and stats, but, um, if you were in San Francisco at the time, this dude was a superstar. Hopefully even the young kids today know who Eddie Matthews is. Uh, one of the best Braves of all time. This is obviously his 58 all-star card. Again, most of these guys can be picked up on eBay for nothing. Um, if you have any, anybody out there that's looking to just now start a collection especially if it's a uh you know a true collection that you want to be valuable 10 years from now i would highly recommend going vintage a lot of this new stuff is ridiculously expensive right now and it is not guaranteed uh to be worth anything next year uh this is a 71 clemente uh obviously you see the card is in horrible horrible shape if I sent this into PSA, it would definitely get a one pour. But again, guys, this is something I picked up with my dad as a kid. Um, you know, I could probably go out and buy a PSA six or seven of this right now with no problem. It'd probably be 100, 150 bucks, but this means more to me than that. Elston Howard, uh, no big Yankee. This is obviously a 55 tops. Uh, I had a Whitey Ford of this at one point in my life, and unfortunately, I do not know what happened to it. Um, 
sweet car. There is a crease across the top up here. That's why it's not graded. Um, I'm pretty picky on my grading, but it has literally been in this case since I bought it 28, 29 years ago. Uh, this is something I did have graded, obviously. Joe Collins again. This is his rookie card, 1952 Tops. This is the only true uh, 52 Tops card I have. It's a uh, PSA 5, which uh, just about anybody in baseball knows the importance of 52 Tops and how hard it is to get one graded like that. This, again, it's probably a $100 card, um, but like I said, one of the most decorated uh, ball players not in the Hall of Fame. Now to uh, some more modern stuff. I'm going to go over, uh, start collecting heavy here. Uh, last couple years and then this right here is a stack of something i really think um if you don't have a lot of money but you want to buy a collection that is got major major potential what you need to be buying um matter of fact we'll go ahead and do that right now y'all hear me talk a lot about this kid this is michael kopeck um got to watch him play a lot here in charlotte uh, one of the nastiest pitchers I've ever seen in person. This is his top's finest rookie, uh, 67 out of 99 green. Um, this kid, the first time I saw him take the mound and pitch, uh, I looked at my fiance and I told her right away that this, this we'd never seen anybody like this at AAA. Um, he, he's going to stand out big time when baseball gets back. And you can still pick his stuff up fairly cheap um he had you can go to youtube look up uh he had one spring uh, spring game uh he, he had obviously last year was his rookie year he had tommy john never played a game uh but this year just before uh the virus he played one game one inning of one game uh struck out three guys in 12 pitches and never threw a ball under 100 miles an hour so, and that is him. That is his attitude. That's why he had Tommy John. Uh, this is going to be a Topps Chrome Gold to 50 Auto. Sterling, Bowman Sterling, uh, orange to 75. And these are starting to climb, guys, but like I said, they're still relatively uh, accessible. This is just going to be your tops uh, series one. This is going to be the 35th anniversary. Not numbered, obviously. Same card here uh, with the 150 stamp on it. This is going to be his heritage rookie. This is actually his uh, his true rookie here. This would have been the first card to come out with a Kopech rookie. This is going to be your finest. Rookie Auto, uh, Refractor Auto. This is going to be Bowman, uh, Signature Series out of 10. Y'all know with, uh, not Bowman, I'm sorry, Panini. Uh, Panini Gold is out of 10 uh, rather than 50 like tops, but this is 8 out of 10. Don Russ. This one, I, I just I absolutely stole this off of eBay. Um, normally, I wouldn't buy buy this, especially not being an auto. But uh, Finest Rookie Blue, number five out of 150. Uh, PSA 10. Guys, I paid less than 10 bucks for this, which is just an absolute steal. And this is the very first Copac I ever bought. This is a uh, Bowman Chrome uh, Rookie Auto. Uh, this would have been a, yeah, 2017. Uh, but guys, again, all his stuff, all his rookie stuff is going to be 2019. Uh, his 2020 stuff is, even though he never played a game last year, it is not a rookie card. Uh, but you can still get his stuff fairly cheap. Now, this is what y'all see me talk about all the time. It's in the uh, the preview of the, the videos this is all Aaron Judge. This is what really got me back into collecting the end of 16, early 17. Um, this is actually a small portion of what is left of this collection. Uh, and if there's any other Yankees or Judge fans out there, 
I'm actually taking my baseball collection a different direction. Um, I'm probably going to go back vintage. Uh, so this stuff will most likely be listed on our eBay channel uh, either Saturday or Sunday night for a week. GCR Sports Cards. I'll have the link below uh, for the eBay channel. But 99% of this is uh, all PSA 10 rookies, guys. At one point in time, if y'all keep up with PSA, um, I had the number three judge rookie set, uh, period. Um, obviously, I think I'm down to like number 15 now. I've sold a lot of it off. All the autos are gone. Um, real quick, Alan Ganter, PSA 10. It's kind of alphabetical order here, guys. Uh, archives, PSA 10. I've only got one card in here that's 18. The rest of this is all rookies. This is one of my favorite cards. Again, it's got the throwback look. This is archives as well, 2017 archives, PSA 10. And guys, I have a absolute, I didn't want to bring it out here. I've, his uh, raw stuff, I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of raws. This is the only nine I have. Uh, this is the bunt. Guys, if y'all go look up the pop report, this is one of the cheapest cards Tops makes and color all the way around, which makes it extremely hard to get a 10. Extremely hard. Um, last time I checked, there was, I want to say around 20 or 30 PSA 10s in existence. If you see one on eBay uh, and somebody doesn't know what they have, it's really cheap. Grab it. Um, I've seen several people, I've missed opportunities where they've grabbed them for 20 bucks and flipped them for 150 overnight. So pick them up guys. These bunts, again, you wouldn't think bunt would be worth anything, but they are because there's, if you get a PSA 10, um, very, very, very few of them. This is going to be his top's finest PSA 10. Uh, Tops Fire, PSA 10. I had a ton of refractors also as well, um, but PSA actually does not, I learned this the hard way, consider refractors and short prints and stuff like that as true rookie cards. Something I learned the hard way. Uh, Tops Gold Label, PSA 10. Gypsy Queen uh, with cap. There's another, again, short print version, um, but this is what they consider his actual Gypsy Queen rookie. Throwback to the 67, I believe. Um, this is going to be his Heritage rookie. He has a standalone Heritage rookie, but it is a short print. Um, so again, PSA doesn't recognize it or on their, their list, put it that way. Obviously, they would recognize the card. Uh, high Tech. This is something uh, I've never opened before. I'd like to. It seems like a really cool... Got a hair on there or something scratch. Um, seems like it'd be a cool set to open. Maybe we can get some this year. Crack some. Tops Opening Day. Stadium Club. And again, guys, I know a lot of y'all are sitting here looking at this like, man, that's uh, a lot of money in grading and all this. This is a true PC. This is a personal collection. This was not bought uh, to flip. This is going to be a silver pack uh, promo here. PSA 10. Save these two for last. These are uh, my babies. Diamond King, Judge, 10. Again, this is another one that's really hard uh, to collect here because of the color going all the way to the borders. Uh, your Don Russ. If you're looking at this, it looks like it's got dirt or speckles all over it. That's actually the card. <laughs> it's just the way they did them that year. The identical card. Just uh, This is optic, obviously. This is going to be his Bowman. Uh, 
Bowman Chrome. Platinum. Bowman's Best. Now these last three here, uh, kind of the higher end ones that I still have left that ain't been picked off yet. This is a 2018 second year, but it's the action variation. Uh, PSA 10 Museum. Again, guys, thick card, black borders all the way around. Extremely hard to get in a 10. Um, these are one of those weird cards if you keep an eye out for them. Uh, they're usually 150, 200 bucks, but you'll see somebody randomly doesn't know what they have and uh, they'll post one for like 50 bucks and it's usually picked up right away. And then this card uh, probably means the most to me. I know what you're thinking. That's just Alan Ganter. Uh, Alan Ganter X. Obviously the X, all the cards in that series are blacked out. Guys, this PSA 10, there's only, I checked just before this video, there's still only 19 of these in existence. Um, again, solid, solid jet black borders uh, with perfect corners and perfect edges. Extremely hard set to get tens in. Extremely hard sets to get tens in. But again, guys, I just wanted to show you uh, a rough baseball collection for me. Um, really what got me started again, the vintage probably what i'm going to get back into we're obviously still going to be breaking and ripping stuff here all the time but as far as pc goes probably going to go back to the vintage um had a bunch of man mantle stuff sold a lot of it i think that's what i'm about to get back into um obviously that can get very high very quick you just gotta know what you're looking for guys i appreciate it if you came here uh to look for a giveaway announcement we do have one it will be in another video um, posted later tonight or first thing in the morning. Uh, and it is going to be geared towards uh, baseball. It's going to be geared towards starting a collection. So some of y'all are going to absolutely love it. Some of y'all are, are going to hate it. <laughs> um, but I thought it would be cool to help somebody else uh, start a collection like I got started 25, 30 years ago. Guys, I appreciate it. Uh, enjoy the video. Check back in in a couple hours. Um, later tonight, we'll have the giveaway. Thanks, guys.